Hey, I am Fuzzy, and in this video, I will show you how you can pixelate text using Adobe Photoshop. Make a new project, set width and height to 2000 pixels, and resolution to 300. For all the fonts and pictures that I'm using, you can find them in the description down below. Now, add the first picture to the project. Go to the adjustment layer and create a new solid color. Change the color to red and hit OK. Place the solid color layer below the image layer. Now, add the second image to the project. Adjust the position of the cloud to the bottom. And adjust the size as well. Press Ctrl plus I to invert the color of the cloud. Go to the adjustment layer and choose brightness and contrast. Hold Alt and click between the two layers. Set the brightness to minus 59 and contrast to 32. Select the cloud layer and the brightness and contrast layer, then put them in a group. Then, name the group cloud. After that, add the text using the text tool. Change the font to Futura and set the font size to 14pt. You can click the fox italic icon to make the font slanted. Press Ctrl plus T, then adjust the position of the text to the middle. Now, add the second text. Set the font to Photograph Signature and set the font size to 36. Change the color of the text to black. Also, position the second text in the middle below the first text. Now, for the pixelated text effect. Create a new project with the same dimensions and resolution. Add the text with the Chomsky font and set the font size to 72. Go to the Adjustment layer and choose Threshold. Select the Text layer. Then, go to Filter, Pixelate then Mosaic.
Click Convert to Smart Object. Change the cell size to 9. Then hit OK. Now, select all the layer. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E to combine all the layer. Now you can hide all the layer except the combined layer. Select the combined layer. Go to Select, Color Range, and pick the white color. Then hit OK. Press Backspace or Delete to delete the white background. Now you can move the pixelate text to main project. Set the position below the second layer. Press Ctrl plus I to invert the color. Select the Odin layer and place it below the of layer. Now, we can add the last text. Using the text tool, set the font to Coolvetica and font size to 10pt. On the canvas, select the area for the text. Then, change the text as you like. Now, select all the layers and merge them using Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. We are going to add some noise to the combined layer. Simply go to Filter then Noise then Add Noise. Set the amount to around 22. Then hit OK. For the texture, I will use a paper texture. Drag the paper texture to the project. Then change the blending mode to screen. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more creative guides. Feel free to check out the description below for all the fonts, textures, and material files you need to recreate this effect. You can also check out my Gumroad for free assets and gradients that you can use for your designs. The link is in the description down below. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.